That is the Stamford, Connecticut-based AmeriCares ringing the closing bell. They are a nonprofit disaster relief organization. Here are the numbers today. The Dow finished up 55 points to close at 21,948. The Nasdaq was up 60 points to finish at 6428. And the S&P 500 was up 14 points to end at 2471. Market analysis tonight. Brian Mackey is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and he is in the newsroom. Hi, Brian. Good evening, Mike. So the markets all finished up today. What was driving them higher? That's right. So the energy sector really led the market higher today. Uh, crude oil prices jumped 2.5% today. And what's happening there is traders are betting that uh, the oil pipelines and refineries that were shut down because of Hurricane Harvey uh, might be able to come back online sooner than anticipated. Um, so that was good news. On top of that, we also got some economic data. The personal income and spending report came out this morning and showed that household incomes grew at the fastest pace since April of this year, and inflation remains pretty subdued. So we've got household income going up and prices remaining pretty steady. That's a great sign for the consumer and what's good for the consumer is good for the stock market. And a good recipe, yeah, for the markets today. All right, Great. Campbell's Soup uh, shares were down today in a big way. What happened to Campbell's Soup? That's right. So Campbell's Soup, uh, the, the stock was down about 8% after the company reported earnings this morning. And what's happening in the food industry right now is consumers are switching and buying a lot more uh, fresh and healthy food items in the grocery stores and also a lot of snack foods. So um, what's getting left behind in that trend is canned goods like soup. And so companies like Campbell are kind of struggling there. Um, on top of that, the CEO this morning on, on the investor call uh, stated that soup sales uh, could continue to slump in the quarters ahead, and that was also a disappointment. So stock down at 8% as a result. Wow, so they had a tough day today, but another company, Lululemon, is surging, especially in the after hours trading. What's happening at Lululemon? So Lululemon uh, reported earnings after the market closed today, and the company reported both earnings and revenue beat expectations. On top of that, they reported that they expect earnings for the year to also be higher than what the market was expecting. Um, so that's good news for shareholders, and the stock price stretched about 6% higher as a result. It stretched. Very nice, Brian. <laughs> All right, what are you looking for tomorrow as we wrap up the weekend? We do have a major economic report coming out tomorrow morning. That's right. So tomorrow morning, uh, we've got the employment situation report. Uh, economists expect between 150,000 and 200,000 jobs were created uh, in the month of August. So keep an eye on that report tomorrow morning. All right, and that one comes out about 8.30 or so. We will look Great. for that. Brian Mackey of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I'll, I'll